I was stronger, faster. I had abs for the first time ever in my life. I was charismatic, able to talk to girls with zero intentions. I was confident, I was focused. All of these things just came down from seeing your attention. Seeing your attention. If you're a man or a woman and you're watching this right now, I want you to cut out all sexual activities for one week. If you can do this for one week, you can do two weeks. If you can do two weeks, you can do a month. Guys, I did this for 200 days. And I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. There's so many things I experienced. Make sure you watch to the end and I'm gonna be spitting the game of what happened to me during semen retention. Things that you wouldn't even notice. While I was doing my research for this video, I came across things that I was like, whoa, that actually did happen to me. So guys, this is real. Whoever says semen retention is a fugazi for you, know, like it's, it's real stuff. On the 1st of April, 2023, I started my semen retention. And in the first 10 days, I noticed that I was very talkative towards people. Prior to this, prior to starting semen retention, I was a very rude person. Like I was rude, I was shy, I was socially awkward. Like I didn't know how to interact properly. I was only good with friends. But if it was new people, I was very quiet. But suddenly I was like, at the gym or at work, I just started like spitting some mad game. Like in the back of my head, I'm like, who's this guy talking right now? And like 10 days into NoFap, I just started, just had some weird energy to just talk to people. It's not even that. I would talk to someone and the conversation would go on for longer. So it wouldn't just end with our oh, high and bye. It would get deep. It would get really deep and start talking about things. And these conversations, even now, have helped me build my business, has helped me make these videos right now. And by talking to people, I've learned forms about the gym, I've learned more about the gym, more about my transformation. This is what helped me complete my transformation so well, is by socializing with people at the gym. Another thing is talking to people and asking them what they want in life and then providing it. So guys, I asked people at the gym, what do they want? They all said, ah, oh, they want abs or they want to lose belly fat. So it, it made me think like, whoa, if this is what people want, let me just provide it to them. How did I manage to find out what people want? I got talkative. And what made me talkative? Semen retention. And if you don't believe me, try it yourself, guys. Try it yourself. I don't want to see no comments saying, oh, semen retention is cap. I don't know if you guys know me before, but I was a very active guy. <laughs> I was very active in this, with girls and stuff. Like I used to have, I'm not even, I'm not even being funny. I used to probably just have sets like every week with different girls at one point. Like I was having them over my house nonstop. This, this night, that night, that night, you know what I mean? 200 days off of this stuff, fully focused, a lot has changed. And of course, talking to people is very important, guys. If you want to network with people in your niche, and you're a socially awkward person, start learning how to talk to people. This is gonna help you maybe make better deals and stuff because the things that you come up with is like when you learn how to socialize, guys, you conversations flowing. You'll be coming up with the slickest stuff to say. That's what happened to me, guys. This is what happened to me in the first 10 days and even till now. Within one month into my semen retention journey, I began to gain serious focus, serious concentration. If you don't know me, I have dyslexia, so books and stuff, I would avoid. In my childhood, I've I tried my hardest to avoid reading. At the time when everyone used to read in class and have their books out, I didn't even read because I couldn't. I would just look at the book and I'll just be waiting for everyone to finish reading. Like, you know what I mean? Wasting time. I couldn't read. Somehow I was able to read for an hour plus every single day I was reading for like an hour, like 20 pages more a day. It wasn't even a fact that I couldn't read. It's the fact, the concentration I had, the concentration and focus that I had to sit down there and not like go on my phone for a whole hour. Like, where did I get this from? Where did I get that concentration from? Another thing that I found out is my focus in the gym. I was very dedicated into the gym, going gym every day, fully focused. Girls was fully out the picture at this point. I did not have no sexual thoughts, not one. If I saw a girl on the street, I would just keep walking straight. You see when you see like a pretty girl on the road and you look at her before you can ever see her again, you take that one stare. Guys, I would just keep walking. And then guys, this led me to another thing. I started to see girls for what they really are. Instead of just thinking, oh, I wanna get in their pants, like guys, you just wanna get in the pretty girl's pants. I started to treat them like male friends. Just talk, talk to them about whatever. 
And it's like when females start to see you're this type of guy who just doesn't want to like get in their pants, guys, they start falling in love. They start liking you more and more. You're fully showing them that like you're not interested like that. Why? Why is he not interested? Like what's wrong with me? Like they're going to try harder. Try it out for yourselves, bro. If you just focus on yourself and do semen retention, your life is going to change. Believe me. Around two months into the semen retention, I felt like I could tackle any sort of problem. Like this is where I started to build my website, like from scratch, going all in, no nothing about coding or nothing. My website is not like Shopify, where you can build a website within like 30 minutes and it's done for you. I built this from scratch. This thing in my head telling me I could tackle anything, let me finish my website without literally focusing every day, getting this done, getting this done. And it allowed me to solve problems. Like things happen, I was able to keep cool and I was able to keep going. I just wanted everything done. Like you start to feel like you're you're the guy, bro. You start to feel like some smart ass for real. There's one downside of semen retention that you should know. Within the first week or two, you're gonna feel very stressed. I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna feel like you need to do some sort of sexual activity, whether it's fapping or having sex, and that stress is gonna get you. It's gonna really get you, I'm not gonna lie. And that's where most people fail. But if you work through it, that's it, man. It goes away and then you start, all the other things will start unraveling. The intelligence that I had, had a very big impact on my awareness. So for example, I was getting weird anxiety attacks, like for like one minute. I was feeling very weird about everything. Like out of nowhere, I just, I just thought and I was like, yo, this is the coffee. So I realized I was drinking too much caffeine. I was having like six cups plus a day. And then straight away, I was just like, this is coffee. I'm doing this too much went away just like that. After a good 15 weeks of semen retention, my testosterone levels increased significantly. I was stronger, faster. I had abs for the first time ever in my life. I was charismatic, I was smart, I was able to talk to girls with zero intentions. I was confident, I was focused, my muscles were bigger. I was able to keep my stress levels down and solve problems easier. I was also able to sleep better as well. And sleep increases your testosterone as well. Guys, there's a clip from Andrew Huberman about testosterone and semen retention. Abstinence or sex without ejaculation for a week or more will increase testosterone levels up to 400%. These are all of the benefits that I gain doing semen retention for 200 days. Of course, guys, I was doing other things like going to the gym but everything started with semen retention. When you're on semen retention, you're on a mission. You won't stop till you get the job done. When you watch movies in the medieval times and there's a swordsman and he literally can just cut off someone's head or their arm with one swing. Head's gone, arm's gone. It looks fake, right? Guys, back in the day in medieval times, men was able to do this. Why? Because they was on semen retention. They didn't fap or have sex. They was religious people, very dedicated to their job, very dedicated to being a warrior and just being a knight's man. In Alexander the Great's first conquest into Persia, he was confronted by two Persian generals. There was like, who's this kid trying to like, take our men, kill our men? Literally, they went up to him, planning to kill him ASAP. One went behind him, one was in front of them. They tag team, trying to kill Alexander the Great right there and there. First guy striked, straight Alexander's face. His helmet saved him, chipped his helmet. Alexander, from this hit, killed the first guy. The guy behind him, the second general from the Persian Empire, was about to kill Alexander right there and there. Remember, he's getting attacked by two ways. Alexander's right hand came in, and before the guy was about to pierce Alexander, went swoop, one hit his arm went flying off. How? How can he take someone's arm off like this? This takes extreme power. When you see it in the movies, it looks fake. Guys, this is real. Your testosterone levels need to be high. This is how ancient people are so strong. They did the semen retention stuff. They didn't have sex. They was true to their religion. They stayed on their religion and they stayed as a true soldier. They didn't care about sex at all. Most of these guys were celibate. And this is the power that they had from this state. Their testosterone was so high that they was able to do things like that. Like decapitate people with one hook, one swing. Semen retention was natural for them. They wasn't thinking about it. That's how their testosterone levels were so high. Alexander the Great was 20 when he took over the world and conquered everywhere. 
What are you doing while you're 20? You're beating your meat right now. A lot of you guys messaged me on Instagram and TikTok or Snapchat and asked me this and that. And I think semen retention is a uh, helped me so much. Is one of is one of the stepping stones to changing your life. Semen retention. I'm not saying it did everything in this video, which it has done. It's definitely helped in many things. You know what I mean? Because like how, like, you know what I mean? Things have to be put in place for stuff to happen. And this is something I would all recommend you try. So you guys try this today. Let me know how it is. Let me know how it is in weeks, two weeks, one month. Guys, let's do this, man. 2024, semen retention. If you want more videos, smash the like goal. You already know what it is. Max Turner and I'm out.